Hello, your tech admin here, and today I'm going to be showing you a basic tutorial on um, animating with sprites in uh, Micromedia Flash 8. So, first off, of course, you're going to need some uh, sprite sheets. So, I'll show you a couple of sites that I recommend that you use because they are awesome. Okay. So, the first one is videogamesprites.net. There it is. Hang on. Uh, there we go. Videogamesprites.net. Now, this one doesn't have a very large collection of sprites, but if you don't want to go through the hassle of having to uh, go through and separate all your sprites from the sprite sheet manually, which I'll be showing you how to do later, um, this site already has them separated, and you can pretty much just right click them as separate in. Um, right click and save them as separate images and not as a whole bunch so if I right click this guy and save them it would write it would save just him and nothing else so that's pretty useful if you're just getting started but um if you want whole sprite sheets then I'm pretty sure any spriter knows about um the spriter's resource so here it is, Spiders Resource. Um, here's this main page, and this site pretty much has so many sprites; it's ridiculous. Um, like almost any game you can think of, it has sprites for it. So this is a great site too if you're going to want to going to want to be using um, whole sprite sheets. So we'll go ahead and um, launch Flash 8, and if you're using Windows 7 with Arrow. Which you see, I was using, but um, Windows 7 automatically turned off Arrow because I was screen recording and my processor usage was going up and everything. So it switched that off automatically. But um, if you're using um, Arrow and you launch Flash 8 inside of Windows 7, it will automatically turn Arrow off because of some incompatibility with the program. I don't know what that has to do with it, but I'm about to switch my um. I don't really like the basic theme; it kind of hurts my eyes. So I'm gonna switch over to something. I'm pretty sure everybody's pretty familiar with which is the um, Luna theme that was default with Windows XP so there's that so um, once you open up Flash 8 it's gonna look exactly like this you're gonna wanna hit go ahead and just um, create a new flash document and you'll be presented with this and you'll see your stage right here and your library which is empty right now so First things first, you can go ahead and import your um, your sprite sheet or sprites that you downloaded. Um, you're just going to go to import to library, and here's a uh, Super Mario Brothers sprite sheet that I downloaded from um, Sprites Resource. Just going to open that. And um, first things first, I'm going to right click this and I'm going to go to properties, and I'm going to make sure this allow smoothing is unchecked and that this compression is on lossless PNG slash GIF. Okay, now that you make sure it's on that, you're gonna close that and go to insert new symbol and name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it Mario Sprite Sheet. There we go. And make sure it's um, the type is set to graphic. You just press OK and it's gonna present you with a new page and you're gonna be pretty much editing inside the symbol you just made. What you're gonna do is grab your sprite sheet that you imported and just drag it over here. And the reason I'm doing this this way is so that I can resize this to whatever size I need. Because as you can tell right now, the sprite sheet is pretty small and if you use this on a movie, it would look pretty ridiculous. So we're gonna go ahead and resize this to a bigger size. And what you're gonna do is hover over the corner and you'll see the little diagonal arrow come up and you're gonna hold down shift and you'll see it change the little line in the middle will go away and you're just gonna grab it and drag it out and what that does is tells it to maintain the aspect ratio so that it doesn't get stretched in some weird way and looks all crazy so I'm just gonna drag this out twice and that looks pretty good so next um, I'm gonna head gonna go ahead and uh, break this apart so that I can work with all the different pieces because right now it's just acting as one big symbol as you can see if I try to select some it just selects the whole thing as one huge picture so we're gonna break it up into little pieces that can be used separately and um sorry about that, that was my sister coming in to uh, say hi 
Um, so pretty much I'm just going to go to uh, modify and then down to bitmap and trace bitmap and then once you get to this dialog right here you're going to make sure that your color threshold is set to 100 your minimum area is set to 1 and your curve to fit is set to pixels and your corner threshold should already be on normal so you're going to go ahead and press OK and then this will come up and you're going to let that do its business you have to excuse the music in the background there um, playing around in there okay and once that gets done you're gonna see everything selected like this and it's gonna be it's gonna look really funny but that's just because it's all selected so you're just gonna you know, right uh, left click over next to it and it's gonna clear out and there you go you can pretty much grab separate parts of this now like this guy and do whatever you want to with them which is what we want so next um, I'm gonna show you how to animate sprites to do your <laughs> evil bidding so first I'm just gonna um, make Mario run pretty much so I'm gonna select the running sprites which are these three right here and I'm gonna right click and copy them okay then I'm gonna go up to insert and oops click something didn't mean to insert new symbol and I'm going to name it um, Mario running uh, you can name it whatever you want of course but um, I'm just gonna stick to something that I'll be able to recognize and understand what it is now under here under type you're gonna make sure that um, the tick box is on movie clip now you're just gonna press OK and once again it's gonna open up a new editing field now you can go ahead and paste in what you copied earlier so paste that in center and um, if anybody's animated before you can tell that these sprites are out of order so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that real quick this sprite goes first if you don't know then this one then this one so I'm just going to drag him out and select these and cut them okay so I'm gonna turn onion skin on and then I'm gonna simply press F7 to insert a new blank keyframe I'm pretty sure that's what that does anyway it'll just make a new frame and once you have onion skin enabled you'll see a little light outline where that used to be and that's going to be very helpful for lining up these sprites because if they're not lined up right um, your animation is not going to look right so then you can just go ahead and um, go to paste again those other two that you cut earlier will come back and you're just going to grab the other one that goes next and you're just going to try to line it up a good point of reference for lining up Mario is his hat because it never moves it stays in the same position um, and the way I'm moving it one pixel at a time is by using my keys and if you hold shift and hold down and press the arrow keys it will move 10 pixels at a time instead of one so that's a handy little tip for lining things up so um, once you're pretty sure you have it lined up you're just gonna go down here and cut this guy again press F7 and paste him again um, the shortcut for pasting um, in place is control shift V or you can just press control V it's up to you really or you can go through the menu and hit edit like I did earlier okay so we're just gonna go ahead and line him up again and that looks hang on just raise him up one pixel that looks about right now to test it you're gonna go to control and then go to loop playback and then you're just simply gonna hit enter and there you're gonna see the animation as you can see um, he's not really doing much jumping around or anything so it looks like I pretty much did that correctly so now we're gonna go back to uh, scene one up here in the top and it's gonna bring back our stage and I'm just gonna put Mario running in here and then to test any movie pre simply pressing enter is not gonna play um, animations that are um, that are pasted pasted into the screen as you can see when I was editing this it was animating when I pressed enter but now that I'm outside the thing if I press enter it does absolutely nothing so what I'm gonna pretty much do is hit control enter and there you can see that's what it looks like so far we have Mario running in place so that's pretty easy and um, I'll probably be making more guides in the future probably pertaining to um, making it look like Mario is running across the screen both by just simply putting them in here each frame and also by creating a motion tween with the ground below him which will actually move backwards while he stays stationary to give the illusion that he is running forward 
Um, thanks for watching. Um, rating, subscription, and comments are always um, helpful. And I'll talk to you guys next time.